Hi guys, today I will tell you about a new project called Herdius. The future of the decentralized web is dependent on the next generation of decentralized financial infrastructure. In order to sustain future growth, it's important to create a financial base layer that is capable of handling it. The user of cryptocurrencies and tokens must become more user-friendly by a considerable margin. The eventual success of dApps and uh, decentralized services will depend on adoption by mainstream users. For distributed systems, to have a real-world impact, several challenges need to be overcome, and the Herdius team had found a way to do that. As you can see, we are already on their page at herdius.com, and one of the first things you are able to do here is opening the white paper. I highly recommend you to check it out. No matter what ICO you wanted to learn about, it is always full of information about the business plans, the team and the technology that the company offers. Also, joining the Telegram group is not a bad move. You can talk there with some people involved in the project and it is always a great idea to get your information directly from the source. Another option is entering one of the bookmarks. There is the roadmap and uh, the work has started one year ago in June 2017. The ICO started in first quarter of 2018 and in September the alpha version of the Herdius chain will be released. The other bookmark concerns the HER token. They intend to make the HER token the staking currency on the Herdius blockchain. Within the delegated proof-of-stake algorithm, DPoS, her holders are supposed to be able to bond their tokens, thereby becoming validators within the network. Through staking, token holders would become validators. For their services, they would earn a share of the transaction fees proportionate to the amount of her they staked. Users are also going to have the choice of delegating their uh, respective her tokens in case they uh, cannot or do not want to participate in validation, in which case they can lend their tokens out to other validators who can perform the above duties. They also aim at giving the HER token different utilities. The primary utility of the HER token they envisage is to act as the internal staking currency. Her tokens would be locked in by validators during block validation and act as a collateral which can be claimed by supervisors if a validator misbehaves. The other intended utility of her tokens within the Herdius system is that users who hold her tokens would be able to pay transaction fees at a discounted rate when compared to paying fees in other cryptocurrencies. The envisaged Herdius exchange design does not intend to limit users to paying fees in her tokens, though. Instead, users will be able to pay fees in other cryptocurrencies as well. The token sold on ICO is ERC20 standard. 10% will be allocated to the Herdius team and the 19% will be sold in the initial coin offering. The Herdius presale has already begun and the ICO is scheduled to take place in 2018. Now, let's go back to the main page. The goal of Herdius platform is to become secure, highly performant and fully distributed. They believe that the features they're providing the platform will have superior liquidity and user experience without middlemen. Diviva offers the decentralized counterpart to the current wallets that are being used. Thanks to Diviva, we could generate a private key controlled by the user that has other keys derived from it, thereby allowing our network to work with any blockchain and link those assets up with the Herdius chain in the process. Moreover, Herdius works towards a truly decentralized exchange built on top of the Herdius chain. Their decentralized exchange architecture is meant to enable the decentralized execution of orders on the Herdius chain, but not on the root main chains of that asset. This would eliminate, this would eliminate the need 
for a middleman or any similar central authorities. Further, the network would cut down confirmation times to a minimum once tokens would be deposited in a Herdus wallet. Transacting from it would, be, uh, would become seamless regardless of the underlying blockchain. Users are going to be able to trade from within their wallet through a single pressing of a trade button. So, uh, when exchanging one token for another, a Herdus user would get access to the new tokens in under 3 seconds, followed by the ability to send these tokens to anyone else within the network after this time. This would allow Herdus users to make full use of the decentralized service and app ecosystem in a fast and flexible manner. Also, the Herdus vision is to lower the barrier of entry to the token economy for service providers and end users offering a superior experience. This company aims to introduce an innovative and robust blockchain architecture that addresses the above issues. Their goal is to design a highly performant and scalable infrastructure which enables seamless interoperability between different blockchains. Below you will see a shortened version of the roadmap that we already discussed and if you go even further you can check who's in charge of the project and let's meet a few members of this amazing team. Balas Dem. He has been involved in blockchain space since 2012 before he founded Herdius. He has launched and worked on different ventures across a wide range of industries from e-commerce to gaming market. Besides blockchain, he has also been heavily involved in AI development projects in recent years. Before moving to Berlin, he lived in Budapest and Houston, Texas. Florian Kessler is a former professional poker player who took part in several world championships, turned into full-time blockchain and ICO investor. He's in love with decentralized systems and also believes in the potential of DLTs unlocking new human capabilities and the chance for a truly free and independent internet. Jorgen Brandt is a PhD candidate from Humboldt University of Berlin focusing on large-scale distributed data flow systems. He had developed his own workflow specification language based on Hadoop Yarn and Jorgen will be a key team member developing Herdu's very own scripting language. Of course, there are more such interesting people working on this project, the team members as well as the advisors. Everyone has an impressive experience and I must honestly say that with those people in charge, I won't be worrying about anything here. So, uh, if you want to widen your knowledge even more, Below there are external links to the media articles waiting for you. As you can see, they were mentioned quite a lot. And I think uh, the project has a huge potential and they will definitely achieve every goal they've put in front of them. Everything is planned perfectly and clearly presented for its potential users. It really is a very nice example of an ICO. So, uh, okay guys, I think that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope you like it. If you want, uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to write a comment or visit the Herdus Telegram group. See you soon and goodbye.